morning. A few years ago, my brother and sister-in-law and their kids brought this bracelet back to me after a trip they were on. It's always been one that I treasure because it reminds me that God loves me. I don't know if you can see it clearly or not, but if you look inside the heart, there are some letters. G-O-N-D. God loves me. It also reminds me that God is always with me. This morning in worship, we celebrated our graduates. While this isn't the graduation that they probably planned in their minds, it will definitely be one that they will always remember. And along the way, I want them and us to remember something even bigger. So if I say to you, Happy Easter, would you think I was crazy? Easter was weeks ago. But yes, we are still celebrating the joy and mystery of Easter. And we celebrate that we are in May, and usually when it's May, it means that summer is just around the corner. For some people, this will be an extra special summer. Some of the people in our church family, as I said, are graduating from high school and moving on to the next part of their lives. They may be getting a real job or going off to college. Today, we celebrate with them. Now, wherever our graduates are going, to a job or to school, it's, it will be a new experience for them. And sometimes, new experiences can be kind of scary. We worry if we will do things right or if we will have friends or if something unimaginable will happen. But the good news is this. We are Easter people. This means that no matter what, no matter where we go or what we do, God is with us. Yes, even after the Easter season is over, we will still celebrate Easter. In the Bible, Jesus tells us, do not let your hearts be troubled. Do not be afraid. He is with us. God is our home wherever we are. God is our light wherever we are. So whether we are doing the same old thing as last week, or if we're going out into the world to do something new, God is with us. I bet you already know that grown-ups like to repeat the important things. Seems like every day you might be encouraged to use your manners, wash your hands, eat your vegetables, put your clothes in the dirty clothes hamper, buckle your seatbelt, go to sleep, do your homework, and that we love you. You hear these words over and over, so it's also right that one more time you hear this, God loves you. This is the Easter message that's so joyous, that it's so continuous, that it's written on our hearts, and that we can never hear too many times. God loves you. Today we tell our graduates to go out into the world in peace and come back to visit us and to know that they are always loved by God and by us. Let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you for being with us now and always. Amen. Thank you.